Okay, so here's a, another small installment of my flight simulator modification for my throttles. Here you can see actually the finished product with the throttle prop and mixture uh, real uh, vernier controls I call them. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But what I did is I used to have uh, some TMP Golf Light module controls, exact same thing with the throttle prop and mixture. But uh, what I'm now doing is uh, using that module in the back underneath my desk to actually uh, use these controls to operate that module. So what I have done is I have this TPM Golf Light module and I took off the knobs that I have right here and that's the knobs I took off the uh, TPM. It's just there, so they're just shafts. I'll set that down here so you can see the knobs, a couple of the knobs anyway. A couple of the knobs that I uh, took off. And then what I did is I went underneath the desk. These, these controls right here are is the front right there. You, right there, those, those two things there. So if I come back in here, you can see the three controls. And what I have done is I've gone all the way back. So the knob would have went on here, on the TPMs here, here, and here. So if I, now if I move the throttle controls, you can see it going here, in and out, and then if you come back, you can now see how I've got that operating on the, on the TPM Golf Light. So what I've done just to get the uh, cable straighter, I've put a spacer, you can see the plywood spacer underneath my desk, and then I mounted the uh, TPM control like that. So that's the throttle, that's the prop, and then this is the mixture. And then the TPM control is just mounted with a couple of L brackets, uh, two inch I believe, and uh, they work pretty well actually. I attached a uh, hose clamp, when I took the knob off here, I attached the hose clamp and cut the cable off the proper length. had to figure that all out but it was no big deal. And uh, to contrast, uh, attach this cable to the shaft using the hose clamp. So now that all is nice and tight and it seems to hold pretty well. Uh, it's quite simplistic but it uh, sure makes for a better uh, feel on the throttles. The, the TPM is, is a nice setup for the actual board but I found the controls a little bit more like a toy. They're all plastic and small. So that's why I did it and uh, it cost about, oh, well, I'd say $400 total uh, because the TPM itself cost $200 and then the controls were about $70 each. The plate that you see here that uh, I mounted everything to on my simulator is uh, made of aluminum. We I just made that out of a piece. I didn't make it. One of the guys at work made it for me, polished it up. Made of a piece of aluminum angle, 3x3, three three, and I cut it down to uh, 2 inch by, well that's about 7.5. And, a half. and uh, well I'll tell you, and these, are real, these are real veneer controls. So you have to push the button in in order to do it. If you don't, then it locks in place. And then if you want to fine tune, you adjust where you want to go. Say throttle is 90% on a jet or something, you want to go 93, you just turn it in a couple of cranks and it'll uh, go right up to the 93% you can knock it back down if you want. Pull it right back to idle. And I'll tell you, that works like a charm and I think it looks a heck of a lot better. Thanks for watching.